Hello and welcome to the Luxury Hybrid channel. Today's video is a shoe collection I didn't even realize I had and the way I discovered it was my boyfriend and I were cleaning out a closet that we both share and in the back I found a pair of shoes that I had completely forgotten that I had and I could have been using them this entire past summer but out of sight, out of mind, and let's get right into it, not waste any more time. The first pair are Celine. These are, I don't know if this is considered like a high heel clog because the sole and the heel are wood, entirely wood. And then there are just two straps that have the Celine logo on it. I used to wear these, let me see, I have them in brown and then I also have them in this cream color. And how I came about these, um, the neighborhood that I used to live in Brooklyn where they had like high-end boutiques, they, were, they would always have a sale at the end of the season. So I got both of these shoes for 70% off and I used to wear these Oh, okay, so these shoes I used to wear with the express clutch that I displayed when I did that best, worst, most dramatic handbag video. And these shoes I used to wear with a Michael Kors clutch that had an amazing tassel that hung off the zipper pull and it had a beautiful plaque of Michael Kors on it and uh, and it was a very plain brown but it was the exact same chocolate brown as the wooden sole here and the wooden sole here matched the leather on the express clutch. Another really fun pair of summer shoes are these rock stud flip flops by Valentino. I love these shoes so much. I wore them to death last year and I got a lot of good use out of them. I mean, they're just, they're so simple yet they are they do so much for a simple outfit. And I love wearing it with my Damier Aben um, Alma Bibi. So uh, the bottom, as you can see here, it's got the, what is this considered? Lily or some sort of a flower print at the bottom. I love how the rock studs just catch the little sparkle. You know, I, I can't lie about the fact that I'm not so impressed with the rock stud as much as I used to be. And I don't mean by the flip flop, I just mean by what Valentino is just doing with the bags. Um, but this was enough for me. You know, I, I almost got them in every color and then I, I, for some reason I just didn't, but yeah, they're still fun, I still love them, and I still wear them. So I'm gonna have to blame Rami Bree and her fiance David because when she came here to visit me on her trip from Las Vegas to uh, New York, we stopped in to Givenchy after we had dinner at Nello's on Madison Avenue. And actually, the funny thing is we parked in the parking lot around the corner from Givenchy and I saw these in the window and I almost died. These shoes literally took my breath away. When I saw them, I was like, oh! like when something does that to me, I can't stop thinking about it. I just have to have it. So these are a pair of pool slides. And the funny thing is, is let me just show them to you. These pool slides are, you know, pool slides have been really popular lately. I was very much into pool slides in college and I would even wear them in the winter time with like socks. I had a pair of Adidas ones and I just wore them with everything through every single season where it wasn't snowing or it wasn't raining. These slides are just like, what? Look at this. It almost looks like there's like marble in there. I don't even know if it is Swarovski crystal or not, but so here is the SKU number and hopefully you'll be able to pick them up. This is what we were told by the sales associate. I'm actually gonna have to text Rami and ask her because I don't remember 100%. Something to the effect of there weren't that many of these made and this was the last size on the East Coast or New York. I really can't remember. I I'm gonna have to text her and ask her but because I asked if they had a size up. I just wanted to see how it fit. They only had a size seven and they only had a size six in the store. When I, s <laughs> I guess that added to it even more, but I have to tell you, I don't regret it. I have been wearing them. I love wearing them with my Chanel or even when I wear them with my Fendi mini, by the way, crocodile encrusted Swarovski crystal. I can't remember the whole name. It's such a long sentence, but yeah, I love wearing them with those purses. So I also want to share with you the trainers that I have. Both of them are from Louis Vuitton. The first pair is this high top. 
trainer. What made me fall in love with these shoes was how subtle the LV was. I mean, <laughs> I go from not subtle to subtle, but it's not like it's got, you know, the brand. Oh, it does say Givenchy on the side here. But it's just, I, I feel like no one would know what this is unless they asked me. It just looks like a blinged out pool slide. Some days I'm subtle and some days I'm not. These are so comfortable. I wore them to death last spring. I got them in March. I wore them all through the, the season and uh, I wore them all through the winter as well. Um, they're really good because surprisingly rain did not get into my shoes at all and they were comfortable. I was able to go shopping in them and wear them all day long and not feel, these are actually a size, half size too big. They didn't have my size. So all I did was I put a little insert into the toe cap portion of the shoe and now it just fits fine and it's actually even more comfortable than without it. The next pair of shoes, sneakers, trainers, however you'd like to call them, are these, these are the Runaway trainers by uh, Louis Vuitton and it doesn't seem like it's so subtle because you have you see canvas here believe it or not it actually is quite subtle no one really realizes all right off the top like what kind of sneakers they are unless they stare at them the only thing that's really blinged out on these is the uh, gold plating in the back where you can see the engraved Louis Vuitton logo and then also there's engraving around the shoelaces at the top and they're so comfortable. I feel like I'm walking on clouds in these. I really love wearing these with my mini backpack Palm Springs. Or is it mini Palm Springs backpack? Oh my God, all these titles. Can they just make it simple? Yeah, I love wearing it. My LV mini backpack. That's what I'm gonna call it. Wanna talk about the most comfortable wedge espadrilles? It is these Gucci wedge espadrilles that I bought last year. Oh my goodness, and actually I was able to find these on several websites like Louisa Via Roma had it. Uh, oh gosh, why can't I think of other websites? I think Barney's of New York or was it Bergdorf Goodman of New York? It's not just the Gucci website, this is where I purchased them from, but they also come in black and this foiled gold. They are so comfortable, I have never, ever, I could walk blocks in these shoes and be fine. I have walked uphill, I have walked downhill. Downhill because it's a heel is a little bit tricky, but it doesn't hurt and it doesn't feel like my foot is sliding forward. These shoes look so good in summer. They really, really dress up an outfit with the right little amount of accessories, the shoe, the purse, a bracelet, a watch, a nice pair of earrings, whatever it is. It just really pulls everything together and I'm so happy that I bought them. Speaking of Gucci, I haven't worn these much, maybe a handful of times, maybe three times, and I don't know why I don't wear them more often. I bought these last year as well. I bought them from Netta Porter. Yes, Netta Porter. And on camera, they look like they're navy blue, but they are black. I love this strappy, uh, the, the, the strappiness. <laughs> I love that in the toe box here, it gives you like nice little sexy toe cleavage. And I like that it's just a slip on mule. These shoes are surprisingly really, really comfortable. And had I known, I probably would have sized up just by half a size to put another cushion on the toe cap because that, I mean, once you have a comfortable shoe and then you add that, forget it. You can walk for miles and miles and miles. But these shoes look amazing with jeans. They look so good with jeans, dress slacks, leather pants, even a long pencil skirt over the knee. Love it. Now, what would be a shoe collection video if I did not talk about my Chrissy Lou's? I love me some Chrissy Lou's, whether they're black, whether they're nude. I love this cut. This is the Corniel cut and they are just everything to me to me they fit me really good i don't know if it has anything to do with the fact that i might have a narrow foot i don't know if that's what it is but i know a lot of people complain i have worn these shoes to death you wouldn't know it because i put those shoe protectors 
I will link a video to show you how I protect my shoes and also how I can remove the protectors. So yeah, I got them in black, I got them in nude, I also got them in gray. These are just the perfect color scale when you want to perhaps like build a capsule wardrobe. You have a black and nude neutral, you have this gray neutral, hold on, cannot forget that pop of color. You have your red. I'm so happy with my Christian Louboutin collection. I mean, they really work for me and I, I love them so much. I'm considering getting a pair of boots that I can wear for the fall and the winter. And also because I picked up a couple of pieces that I plan on using as my fall winter uniform, so to speak. Pieces that I can gravitate toward and not have to give it a second thought about what I'm going to wear for the day and still feel put together. That's my aim. I guess, I guess I'm slowly building myself a capsule wardrobe because I had in mind since last spring how I was going to curate my fall and winter pieces, like my standout pieces. So we cannot talk about all of these shoes and not bring up Chanel. My favorite of these, I changed the insoles on them, by the way. I used to use a gel insole here, but these, look, they're so thin. I don't use the stick part on it because I don't want to ruin the inside of the shoe. But these shoes are so comfortable. They're so classic. They're so elegant. I love the way they look. I wore this beautiful Chanel-esque blouse that I picked up from Banana Republic. It had a, a tweed look to it with the frayed collar and cut off sleeves and also the fray, frayed at the waist as well. I wore it with my Chanel purse and I just felt so put together and so elegant and so ladylike. But yeah, these are really a phenomenal shoe, especially because they have this pearl detail in the back. The heel is a very, very comfortable heel. The only thing I will say about them is this this is a very strange thing that I noticed about these shoes. If I don't wear them with nylon foot liners and I just wear them barefoot, I notice that as I'm walking, it, it almost feels as like an air pocket gets stuck kind of at the top here and I feel my toes pushing air out. <laughs> it's like the most bizarre thing ever. So I'm more inclined to wear these with nylon um, foot liners. And in combination with these little insoles that I put in. So comfortable, so elegant. I just, I mean, I can't tell you enough how much I love these shoes. Another pair of shoes from Chanel I picked up specifically to go with my Alma BB. I had a really difficult time finding the ballet flats in my size in that color scheme, the beige and the black. And I really wanted a pair of ballet flats to go with my Alma BB, but I just, I wasn't having any luck. And then one day on Yogi's closet, I saw these gorgeous pair of deep, deep plum Chanel ballet flats. And you know, they're understated, but yet people still know what they are. You can notice the shape from di from afar, and then when you get closer, people notice the CC logo. And it's just, it's a nice accent to the Alma BB, even though it's like a really dark, dark brown. It just adds like a nice, subtle pop of color, and it goes well with a neutral outfit. They're comfortable. I stuck them in the freezer with a sandwich bag with water, and I let it sit in the freezer overnight and expanded the toe cap, so, that's another trick that I have for my shoes. So maybe if you try that with maybe your Christian Louboutin shoes, if that's where your trouble is in the toe box area, you could probably try that with uh, Christian Louboutin shoes. The last pair of Chanel shoes are my espadrilles. I love them in the all black. I love the contrast of the black and this tweed, this almost beigey tweed. I don't know how to explain it. I wore it with a... Uh, Cuban style hat. I'll insert a picture when I went to Vegas. I wore these together and it just, I just pulled everything together. There's just something about the way these espadrilles and that hat wore together. It just, I loved it. I loved wearing it with a white t-shirt and jeans and white t-shirt and cutoffs. I had this striped shirt that I was wearing, a tank top. I mean, with these espadrilles and that hat, forget it. It just pulled everything together. Last and certainly not least are my Chloe Susana ankle boots. <laughs> they have the silver hardware with the silver embellishments. 
they have never been worn uh, it hasn't been cold enough in new york to wear them but uh, these shoes the leather smells so good and i've already started pairing it with sweaters that i have in my closet and some blouses that i have and you know started layering up like how i'm going to wear it when the weather gets cooler and let me tell you something these boots are i'm so glad i invested in them really really happy that i did i plan on doing some lookbooks for you guys for the fall and so i hope you'll be looking out for that and i hope that you enjoy them thank you so much for watching today's video remember to follow me on my social media that's at the luxury hybrid on instagram snapchat and twitter and you can always join the party by clicking subscribe remember to smile always and i will see you guys in the next video i love wearing them with my fendi crystal embossed I really like wearing these with my mini backpack spring, Palm Spring, my mini Palm Spring backpack. Yeah, I can't remember how to.